day yeah, five. What? I said I'm gonna try. Leave this on. I'm gonna try harder. I need to be supportive. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be all in your vlog. Okay. Okay. cotton club we're gonna get day passes because you can get a bracelet and then you can basically go in and out as much as you want i'm sure they don't really want you to do that but we're treating it like a day pass what's up youtube it's july 21st it's a thursday day four of our trip and we're having a blast right now we are in saint john's newfoundland and the population is about 250,000. but all i care about is these two right here follow us let's go come down here <laughs> in 1861 Joseph H. Trent, born July 12, 1967. He outlawed mummery. Man, what else are we gonna find out? Follow me. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. That's why we got kicked out of Cotton Club last night. <laughs> don't do that, remember? Wow, in love. Just like us. No, it's a little girl. I'm not in love oh. with her. It's I've taken care of her. She's an orphan. Okay. This better be for the vlog and you're taking that back. We need that for the cotton <laughs> club later. Wow, so ungrateful. Yeah. So ungrateful. Fuck you. Okay, well we don't know what this represents. Let's not, <laughs> let's not disrespect it. Where are we? Today we're going to the Eastern Medical Supplies. How do we get how do we get downtown? Sorry? How do we get downtown? We just keep walking this here. way. Oh. So I know how we there. get there. Thank you, though. Don't embarrass me like that. <laughs> okay, I know where we're going. Is it that way? Yes. That way and down. That way? Yes. Can you do the that way thing again? I think we can do it better. That way? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's the vlog energy we needed. Look, I'm sweating already because that's what I put into it. Do you hate me? Oh, I love you so much. Give myself a date. We can probably do that better. Only for the vlog, though. Yeah. <laughs> Only for the vlog. We're in love, trying to monetize my relationship. Exactly. You already know. Move over. This is the best place to get ice cream in St. John. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a vlog. It's funny though. How's the milkshakes? <laughs> Go and ask. <laughs> We're doing a vlog. Can we get something on the house? <laughs> yeah, our last video got 91 views. <laughs> we just rip it apart. Luckily, I yelp as well. We know this is getting one star. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Tell them about the our, our fish and chips last night. <laughs> every single night. First of all, every single night. I was tossing and turning thinking about it was $130. I couldn't sleep <laughs> last night thinking about paying $130 for, for fish, and fish and chips. And chip. How is that even possible? If you break it down, it's like two fish and chips. Love the tan. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look um, at these little jelly bean houses right here. These might be the ridge. I think I peed in my pants. Why? having so much fun. Okay, yeah, that's good. Remember that guy came over to Luke's house and he was like, you can pee in the hot tub, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like the color of this, you know what? but I like the color of these much more. Don't do it. <laughs> you gotta stop doing that. Oh wait, I'm not done talking about the fish and chips. Okay, yeah. So the fish and chips, we each got an extra piece of fish, but it's like realistically $130. How could it be like, is that like 60 bucks a meal? But then remember, but I then got a $15, $15 turkey, soup, soup, turkey that soup that came, came from a can. can. Came in a can. And then you randomly last minute were just like, yeah, let's get an extra thing of fries. For $8. What, since when? Where do fries get off being $8 all of a sudden? It's literally potato and seed oil, which by the way is the cheapest thing for you in the world and not good. Mm -hmm. Anyways. We're gonna go out back and complain. Come, come on, come with us. <laughs> water Street, and there's the water. What do you know? <laughs> 
So, Paul, why did we get kicked out of the strip club yesterday? Because it wasn't my idea. You started getting on top of me, <laughs> making out all types. And then the bouncer came and was like, yeah, I'm being told to kick you out, but... <laughs> Which is weird that he didn't kick us out. Somebody was like, get them out here. So, that's what happened. Let's cross. Yeah. What are you, what are you drinking there, Polly? I'm drinking the, uh, some made with Newfoundland Screech. Roxbury St. John's Newfoundland. Screech Sangria. Screech is a, a Newfoundland liquor that they stole from the Jamaicans, I think. And now it's a big deal. And uh, they make Screech Punch and Screech Sangria, and it comes in the can, and I like both of them. Pretty sugary, but when you're on vacation, Why not? it doesn't always have to be a white claw. You don't always have to be healthy. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then when we're back to Toronto, I'm back on my health kick. Nothing but white claws all day. <laughs> <laughs> I always expect when I leave Toronto that everything is going to be just way cheaper, but here their cans in the store are five bucks. It's insane. Yeah, insane. There was, uh, yeah, they, they, they got these little cans here. And these are, uh, it's like $20 for six of these. Insane. Yeah. Um, but it's an island, so everything has to get shipped, right? Mm -hmm. But this is, this is made locally and it's still expensive, so I don't know. So up here, there's these Irving, whatever they are, I don't know gas or something like that we don't know we don't know what it is there's no way to really know but sometime in the 90s apparently uh there were some young kids up there and they were smoking a joint and they tossed the joint into one of those barrels and there was a layer of gasoline and what happened is the second the little the little uh what's it called the little roach hit the water no water gas hit the gas big explosion apparently uh, two kids died right away. One of them got completely burnt, and I guess one of them's still alive. But that's like September 11th for Newfoundland. Also, there was a pretty big fire in 1892. But we'll tell you about that later. See this? I call me. I'm gonna give it a call. Why the fuck's your phone ringing? A little, a little story about the Titanic. Paul's birthday. Yeah. Paul was born on the Titanic. I was born on the Titanic, <laughs> April 12, 1912. And that's why you wear sunscreen. I'm 91 years old. I haven't had an erection for 10 years. 91, it would be way older than that because it's already... I know, I'm not good at math. Okay? <laughs> Stop embarrassing me during the vlog. Cut it off. Cut it off. Seriously. Seriously, turn it off. Seriously, I'm not even joking. And that's because I failed math twice, okay? And it's that's embarrassing thing that I have to go through. I had to do grade 10 math, and I failed that again, and I was in grade 11 with all of the other grade 10, so it's embarrassing to me when you bring up math stuff. And I don't want to do the fucking vlog, too. We're in Newfoundland. It's beautiful. We should be out on the boat. We're walking around so that you can get fucking content. I just want to hang out with my girlfriend, but it's like, you're almost 30 making vlogs. It's stupid. I just don't want to do this shit. Cool. Were you in Bring It On? Yeah. There's not even enough space. <laughs> you, you, why? you ain't got no alibi. You ugly. You, you, you ugly. You, you think like I'm ugly? Cheer? No, it's a cheer. You literally said I was the most beautiful girl in the world, like literally an hour yeah, ago. I'm doing a cheer. I just like, I get that like you're like being like it's comedy, but it's like, I just like don't like, it, I'm insecure, obviously. I'm I have problems. Like, I don't want to be called ugly on the vlog. And I don't want to be doing the vlog in the fucking first okay, place. Okay, but like, I just like don't understand why, where you get off like calling me ugly, then, even if it's a joke. Even if it's a joke. I don't know. I so just what don't am I know, supposed Paul. to do? We're waiting for our friend who runs an Airbnb and then we're going to go boating. That's the truth. We're gonna look for whales, we're gonna look for icebergs. I hope we find one of them. We're gonna find love. Oh, we already found that. Okay, so we're going out on the boat right now. Here we are, Kitty Bitty Brewing Co. It's exciting. We're here, beautiful Newfoundland, St. John's, and uh, we're about to look for some whales. I hope we find them. We're gonna look for some whales. Fuck!
What? Big laugh in the vlog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you laughing at? So we didn't see any whales. No whales. Which day is, five. Day five. I know. No whales. I sometimes wonder if we'll just keep going on these whale hunts, you know? We'll go to Churchill, Manitoba, Vancouver, a bunch of different places, and like the whales that just consistently hide from me because they know how badly I want to see them. I hope that's not the case. I hope that a little miracle whale pops up, maybe tomorrow. But if we don't see whales, uh, we still saw puffin birds. We still, we still spend time in the ocean. I'm still with my fucking beautiful babe, so I'm happy always. If we can't see seafood, we'll go eat seafood, right? Yeah. Come with me. <laughs> but it's right here. I'm a vlogger. Yeah. Uh, I have a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, what do you do on your YouTube channel? Uh, I normally make travel videos. Okay, and cool. sometimes I'm a law student, so sometimes I make video related to my law. To your law? I'm a law student. Oh, cool. cool. That's <laughs> awesome. I love Sick. that. Yeah. Well, what's your YouTube channel? Plug yourself. Sorry? Plug your YouTube. Okay. Hi, my YouTube channel name is M. Nuruddin. Yeah. You can search on uh, YouTube so you can find me. And also you can find me on Instagram and Facebook. Cool. Sick. The same name. <laughs> Sick. Thank, Thank you. Good night. He doesn't know my YouTube only has 90 <laughs> followers. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you get a seat. <laughs> There it is. You're looking at it. The home of the $130 <laughs> fish and chips. I could not sleep. <laughs> we did end up getting a seat. We got a table at the Fish and Chips change. I'm not gonna go on. <laughs> I got, what did I get? I got four. I hope that you have both of them. Um, oysters are very good because oysters are extremely high in zinc. And uh, zinc makes you horny. Because I love how every single night, not only did you order the fish and chips, you ordered the fish and chips one extra piece. <laughs> and last night, I, was your intention last night for us to split it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I think that you were like, and then you were like, yeah, can I get fish and chips with one extra piece? And I was like, I'll do the same. <laughs> and then we show up tonight, but I don't have to use words. I'm just a regular, come in, fish and chips. <laughs> That's exactly what, what I was talking about. Check this out. No, don't, don't. What is it, though? It's not a seagull, though. Yeah, it's like a kind of seagull vibe, though. No, it's not. It's bigger. Seagulls aren't that big. Yeah, well, you... And it's cute. And did you see when you chased it, it went... Like <laughs> yeah, it was like a cat. It sounded like Kush. It sounded like Luke's cat. Yeah. So <laughs> Look, that's a cute bird. He's hanging with the peeps, too. I like that he walks instead of um, flying. Went here the other day. Ziggy peels good. Got a poutine. And let me tell you, it peeled good. It peeled... The Great Fire of 1892. That's a big, 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 oh. big, big, big part of Newfoundland's history. So basically, there was a fire and a lot of stuff burned down. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Are you a tour guide of St. John's yeah. for a little bit? Yeah. But yeah, this wall. What was the corner of this called? McBride's and Duckworth? And du Duckworth and McBride? <laughs> Duckworth and McBride? You're getting the accent Thank though. Yeah. The best thing. I don't know if you're going to get reflection. Can you see in the window? Can you see them? Yeah. Okay, look at the little guy. Look how cute this little guy is. See this right there with the flower over the head? 
Yeah, it's like, I mean, this is cute, but like this really, really just gives me KKK. Oh yeah, they're cute though. They are cute. So let's explain. Let's explain. My favorite thing about Newfoundland, like probably, I love this tradition, it's called the Mummers. So around Christmas time, people get dressed up and like, like you saw there, like a flower bag, or they'll get pillowcases and they cut holes into the eyes or they wear like gardening gloves and then you show up to people's houses, like your family's house, and you're like, any mummers allowed in? And then they're like, oh, there's mummers here, and it's a big deal, <laughs> and you come in, and they give you liquor, and everybody goes, hi, dee, 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 and you dance around, and it's, it's out of this world. It's the funniest thing. Paul, are you ready for some fogged up comedy? Oh, no, that's why we're going here? I don't wanna go. No, no, I don't wanna do comedy either. We don't have to. I don't wanna do comedy either. I honestly just remembered on the way here. Okay, it's it's probably done, it's probably done. Oh God. <laughs> That's such a fucking panic attack of mine. Like all the time where you're just like having a good night or like out with like your parents or something like that. And then you like show up somewhere and like, oh, and there's a comedy open mic. And you're like, no, 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 no. Cause you have to be, I don't know. I'm not just trying. I'm to not doing comedy. Roll in, eat $55 lobster. It sounds like it's not happening anymore. No, 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 we're good, we're good. This is the perfect time. Like, oh, did we miss it? <laughs> Finishing off the night on George Street. Famous, famous for famous for being George Street. It's a famous street in Newfoundland, um, and we're going to Christians, which is famous for screeching people in, and that's where Anthony Bourdain got screeched in, and. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to Christians now, and you know, dust off a few pints and end the night.